There seems to be more confusion than clarity on college vaccination plans. NBC News is reporting more than 120 of nearly 400 public and private institutions added vaccination requirements within the last two weeks. But we're also learning a new poll shows 36% of adults under age 35 do not plan to get the shot. 10 News reporter McKinley Struther checks in with our area's biggest schools. As one school year ends, Preparation for the next school year now begins. It should look and feel more like a normal semester at UVA. The University of Virginia among the growing list of colleges and universities now requiring a vaccine for an on-campus return in the fall. The exemption, faculty and staff and students with specific medical or religious stipulations. Each institution will make that decision on their own. Dr. Danny Avula is the state vaccine coordinator. We asked him for clarity with college vaccination plans, well, being all over the place. It is absolutely within the purview of institutions of higher education uh, to require vaccination if they see fit. Here at home, Virginia Tech says because the vaccines are not fully approved by the FDA, they will not require it. Liberty University would not require the vaccine either. Radford University and Roanoke College tell me they will make their decisions later this summer. I'd really miss seeing facial expressions and that's really important for getting to know people and having a human connection. <laughs> Regular testing and other COVID-19 mitigation measures remain for those unvaccinated on most campuses, something Lord Botetourt High School senior Aaron Sparks wants to avoid. If you don't have the vaccine, you're going to have to be tested weekly. So I was, I was kind of just like, I should get the vaccine out of the way because I don't want to be tested weekly. McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.